but welcome back to the episode of Two Guys One Day Pad. Just to clarify for everyone, because we've been gone for a hot minute. I blame Rogel. When in doubt, no, no, no. when in doubt, blame Daniel Palumpa. He was busy working at Willy Wonka's factory, sailing down the Chocolate River, so he he was busy. He left me high and dry. Thanks for, like, thanks for the, there. Yeah, but okay. Sure. I left you high and dry, whatever. Lane did too. Where the fuck you guys at? <laughs> I don't know where he's at. I'm trying to keep track of him. It's difficult oh. at times. You guys live so close to each other too. It's not like. Not really. <laughs> not really. I mean, compared to you and I, yes. I mean, he's like 20 minutes away. It's a long ways. I can't walk there. It's not close. You can fucking walk there 20 minutes away. You can walk. It may take you an hour, but you can walk. Slow the fuck down there. <laughs> I know you've done rock marches longer than that. You're good. You have not done an over 20 mile rock march. You are a fucking liar. You're in the Air Force. Who you said I it. did? I said I know you I, did. Oh, okay. I thought you said you did. I'm like, okay, hold on. Let's spec this bullshit trade up real quick. <laughs> Like, there's no way you hear what you want to hear it had to be at least less than a quarter mile from your head to the chow hall and that was my taxi so i didn't want to in basic it. no door here here here's the building right here's here's the bottom floor right bottom floor our rooms slash floors really because there was all open concept our floors laundry room where people did laundry, they were having sex. And then the chow hall was right underneath. No, we didn't walk. No. Fuck off, you guys. <laughs> Gosh. I think that's called a Holiday Inn. Or a Hilton, <laughs> whichever way I look at it. Yeah, uh-huh. We'll call it fair Wasn't that Hilton? Definitely no way seeing that bitch. <laughs> oh, so you got extra pay. I guess, yeah. It was yeah, it was hazard pay. Fuck off. <laughs> Hazard we did it for anybody who's like Keith Knight in there <laughs> making jokes. Like, call me out during a live stream. It's like, you weren't in the Air Force. You're making, you're saying all this. Like, dude, it's a fucking joke. It's a joke. But yes, I, I did get pay, extra pay when I was living over in Germany because <laughs> I was living in World War II bunkers and that was deemed unfit. Sorry. You didn't have AC carpet. I had AC, I had nasty carpet. I just smelled like mildew the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, before we start this, because this is going to be a, a, this is kind of off par for what we normally talk about, uh, get into for this, this episode. However, before we start into it, I saw this post and I was like, oh yeah, next time we do an episode, I want to start off and I want to ask you and see what your thought process is on this. Okay. Listen carefully. I know that's hard for you, but listen carefully, okay? You guys need Jesus, I'm leaving. <laughs> Just hear me out, okay? I got a bunch of disciples that can tell you so much about it. Anyways, no, it's not about Jesus this time. It says, time? <laughs> there's always time for more, so chill. <laughs> it says, you are in an arena with 50 hawks, 10 crocodiles, three brown bears, 15 wolves, one hunter who has a rifle, seven buffaloes, 10,000 rats, five gorillas, four lions. Pick two of them to defend you against the others who are now going to attack you. You must survive for at least one hour. So. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to send it to you on Discord. Yeah, send, it, send me that so I can <laughs> see it, because that's... Ooh. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck this world. Just that's there you a go. Good one though. I like. Where did you find that at? TikTok. Somebody sent it to me on TikTok and said, "Oh, because you think you'd rather fight a chicken than a orangutan." I was like, "Oh my god, I'm not getting into that shit. Fucking <laughs> chicken over a chicken every time you get in a car, or a orangutan with a sword once a year." No, thank you. So yeah, yeah, so, every time you get in a car. All right. This, I pick two. You pick two to defend you. To go against the rest. Yes. 
I feel like one of these is like a guaranteed like you should go. <laughs> I am going. <laughs> now is this buffalo or? Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just buffalo, not water buffalo. buffalo. Yeah, it's just as buffalo. Okay, okay. Um, I am going five gorillas, four lions. That's what you're going with. Yep, I take five gorillas and four lions. See all that. I went. With 10,000 rats and five gorillas. But I could also make the this, uh, the argument for 10,000 rats and 50 hawks. Only because the hawks being aerial, none of these fuckers are going to really stand a chance to do much if the rats are climbing over them. But 10,000 rats can do a lot of damage. I have read enough ancient medical stuff to see what rats used to do. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I was like, this makes sense. R rats for sure. Uh, but gorillas, just because they're obscene strength, like these fuckers will tear you from limb to limb with no problem. The hunter makes no sense. He has to reload. He's dead. Mm -hmm. So, but you have to survive for one hour. Uh, lions... I'll see the number thing, like 10,000. That's a fucking time. That, yeah, that is. Four lions and five gorillas and you. So mm -hmm. 10 people or 10 things total. I have brown bears or crocodiles destroying the lions. And then the rats and hawks killing your gorilla. Like, that's how my process goes is, yes, the gorilla is freakishly strong. But there's 10,000 rats trying to kill him, climbing all over him at once. He's going to look like you trying to kill a mosquito that just won't leave you the fuck alone. And then the hawks just, you know, come down and do their thing. But I'm thinking if you have, if you're jungle-wise and trees and everything else. This is an arena. I mean, <laughs> oh, this is an arena, isn't it? Is this an arena? That's yes. a, oh, I didn't see the top. Oh, I did see. I, I was looking at the top of it. That's right. You did say arena. You're over here trying to do like some magic gathering shit. Lay down I'm force. In, I'm in fucking I'm in jungle <laughs> jungle mode and everything else. Arena, think Coliseum, Gladiator yeah. style. Yeah, I'm still sick with it. You're still sick with this too. All right. Yeah. Well, that's not what you all think. Uh, five gorillas and four lions. I'm I'm gonna stick with my original one, which is ten thousand rats and five gorillas. Uh, just because Gorilla has the stupid ass ridiculous strength. Like, it's gonna take a bit to kill him, but in my head, he's grabbing the crocodile by the tail and just freaking numb chucking this shit. <laughs> so, yeah. It's my thought. So, anyways, wanted to ask that before I forgot, because I thought it was a pretty good one. There was another one I was going to ask, but I didn't save it. I don't remember the account it came from. <laughs> Still have you, I guess. So, but uh, this is going to be, I said this is going to be an interesting one, one of which we don't really dabble in too much because it's all fucking stupid. It doesn't really affect us personally on any level. But it seems to be rampant right now. And that is, there is a lot of beef, a lot of issues, a lot of troubles uh, within the streaming community. So starting with probably one of the biggest moments in the last month, um, Dr. Disrespect admitting, openly admitting, and, you know, all the stuff falling out with Twitch too, and possibly an underage person being involved. If you want to find more about it, you can literally just fucking type in Dr. Disrespect in. We won't see all of it. I'm not going to get into the subject matter itself, but so there's that. You also had Nick Merckx still beefing with uh, Mr. Beast and one of his uh, friends, workers, friends. I, I know he's been, she's been a friend of his for a while. Yeah, it's within his career that he's had for a very long time. Yeah. 
And that's that is all. Yeah. And then you have Ninja kind of floating in through all of these, trying to defend some streamers, not defend other people, and then at the same time, kind of being Switzerland to a degree where he's like, oh, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying do your research. But every time he gets pressed about it, he does the same thing. If he, he takes off his plate, he does a very smart political move of, mm, I'm not getting involved in this if I can help it. Mm. I like the Dr. Disrespect he has yet to fully say, this is terrible. I, I can't support him. He always ends it with, you got to do your own research. Leave it at that. Very smart move. Tim the Tap Man and Nick Bros have said they're no longer friends with Dr. Disrespect after that issue. Uh, because this t- Tim has children, right? Yes, he has two. Yep. I know Nick does too, because his big thing is protecting children, is what's mm-hmm. getting him in beef with Mr. Beast. You had, you know more about the sketch thing. I know about it. I don't like sketch as a streamer. I avoid his content. He just annoys the fuck out of me. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of him either. But I know he had... Everything that's, everything that's happening yeah. with him kind of pulled me in more because of the so-called controversial past, which, in which, my opinion, is not a very controversial at all. Okay, so I'm not the only one. It's like... It's, it's not. It's, it was so... And like it, like every overnight... And also an overnight success because he blew up fairly quick yes. with everything that he's got. He's got his catchphrase, everything else. I'm not going to do it. I can't stand it. I yell at my kids and stop doing it too but this is et um, phone home by the way <laughs> but that's what pisses me off because this is no longer had. et phone phone home he took he took his his playing madden everything else cool found his niche ran with it got his catchphrase did a lot with you know with other streamers jinxie is who he got in with it really helped him he's also Push fucking himself. annoying so it, they're the exact same in my opinion um, it looks like it almost seems like they play off of each other's style really well. Yeah. They get them. They had, they've made success. Good on them for doing it overnight for sketch to do it. Jinx is still doing his thing as well. But to, this is in social media, this is the internet. This is, if you have success and you have a questionable path, to say the least, somebody will find it. Somebody will try to expose it just to make it for themselves, regardless of how it affects it around. Did this need to be brought up? No. So anybody that doesn't know, he supposedly, or no, he did, not supposedly. He had an OnlyFans in the past and went by multiple different names. I don't remember them. I didn't try to memorize them. I care less what the names were. And it was for sexual things that happened, obviously on OnlyFans of same-sex stuff, Teach their own, do your thing, whatever. Play off of it. He admitted to it. I can't care less. Um, Which again, he did it on a. Why? Why this? Of all the other content creators who do actively have an, an OnlyFans and actively promote it within their mm-hmm. streaming channel, like take Amareth off the table completely. Take her off the table completely. There are so many other female streamers. And content creators who have OnlyFans, nobody bats an eye. There's several men who have OnlyFans, nobody bats an eye. So, again, I know the controversy or the supposed controversy, but it made no sense why Sketch, like, of all people. Somebody like made a documentary about it. And yeah. They made I, make a name for themselves. And I, I don't understand it. He came out, he owned it, he talked about it, he did a a live stream about it, everything about it, and he's back at it, you know, today. He's back to streaming everything else. Now, I have noticed that there's a lot more fake accounts that are going on uh, with a live stream, which is them grabbing his old lives and benefiting off that, which is nothing new. But they know it's the hot thing right now, and I was going through it. Since I watched a few things on it, my for you is now littered with sketch stuff, which will hopefully change soon. Because again, I don't watch the guy, but I, I, I give him props for coming out and saying everything. It does take a lot to do that, to to own what has happened, even though you didn't have to. He did nothing wrong, nothing no. at all. He was of age, 
on a legal site doing whatever he wanted behind a paywall by the way to make like... money. yeah to make money in whichever way he wants to if he wants to go that route i mean surprise it's nothing new to see this type of stuff on the internet i mean this is what the internet <laughs> strives on there was somebody i was actually watching on tiktok who was like they were covering this as well they were talking about sketch and he's like look i'm not shamed i had an only fans because here's the way i saw it i was streaming one day and somebody said hey I'll send you $150 if you send me a picture of your butthole. I said, man, I don't, I'm not going to do that. He goes, yeah, just go ahead. Go create an OnlyFans. He's like, okay. So I went and created an OnlyFans. And my logic behind this, and I'm okay with it. My logic behind it was I paid my doctor for him to look at my butthole. <laughs> now somebody else wants to pay me to look at my butthole? All right. <laughs> that. <laughs> it's like. I need to clip everything you're saying right now so we can <laughs> turn this into. I'll do it. It's fine. Um, no, I won't. Do your fucking work over there. But yes, I'm just like, you know, look. And he made a good point. He's like, no one's going to be able to pick out my butthole. <laughs> be surprised if you can. Well, the guy, the, the other guy on the podcast goes, wait, is yours the one that has like a little bit of hair, a speckle of brown? Oh, <gasps> you saw my butthole. Like, How many buttons are you looking at? Where he's like, comparing? Why, why were you on my OnlyFans? How do you know what my butthole looks like? We got questions we gotta answer now. Well, not for this episode. Like, no, for this episode, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm invested. I had to go like actually find the full episode to listen to it in hopes. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but like, but again, but he did, like, he did nothing wrong. No, being blown up by all this. The other fucker, Dr. Disrespect, admitted to everything leading up to inappropriate conversations with a minor. <laughs> Admitting it. Yeah. And yes, he's been essentially canceled at this point. Yeah. Taking a break. He comes back. I think he's still going to find support somewhere. He will at some point. To, I don't know what status of it, but he will find something. I don't think he gets any sponsorship or brand deals. No, I don't. No. More likely not. That's why I think like when when and you and I were talking about when this whole thing was at uh, height, mm -hmm. height, he can come back and he'll probably still be big on streaming because again there's still a lot of information missing and uh, there's tons of theories out there saying that you know it's Twitch employees pretending to be a minor. I've seen there's Twitch employees using their children to talk to Doctor Disrespect. I've seen that it was a witch hunt. I've seen. Uh, it was somebody per that wasn't even affiliated with Twitch and purposely seeking out to destroy Dr. Disrespect. Like, there's so many theories out there. Um, and he definitely didn't do himself any justice by coming out, making that tweet, changing it three times, removing the word minor. Like, it's at its face value. It is terrible regardless. Don't fucking talk to minors. Uh, if you're an adult, don't fucking talk to minors. It's quite simple. Um... Uh, so at face value, like I, I align myself more like Nick Merckx and Tim just going to look missing yeah. some information. I, I can't support it. I can't be a part of it. I also have children. Even if I didn't have children, fuck off, you creep. But with that said, there's also some funny stuff coming out of it. Like the predator game removed <laughs> having Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I, mean, I unfollowed him right as soon as I heard everything. I didn't care if it was true or not. I didn't, yeah. and I never really, never really enjoyed him that much. Anyways, I did follow him, um, but I, I unfollowed everything once all that stuff started to come out. I'm like, okay, I don't want to hear anything. I did, I, I did watch his first live stream that Monday because mm -hmm. I want to see if he's gonna, you know, talk about yeah. it or whatnot. And the time I watched, he didn't talk about it, but. He did at some point within that stream. I didn't see it, but I didn't follow it at that point. I think he did it towards the towards the end of the stream because that's where everything else started to kind of collapse on him. Yeah, I think he's where he was. He had lost the the gaming studio and everything else, and, and what 49ers, was. all his brand deals, yeah. Riot, e, uh, Epic. Everybody was just which should have happened. Yeah, I man. I don't I don't feel bad for him at all. It's nothing. I, I mean, oh no. Yeah consequences I mean, of my actions it, it, it does take a lot to come out and actually say it in a yeah. public post but if you're constantly going to alter the post and everything else how genuine are you being but also 
if you're you know proofreading it and changing it you know but, people do that as well but i don't really know but the thing is he didn't change anything but adding and removing the word minor that's what people were, were caught up on is like the entire thread stayed the same but he altered the word minor either being in there being taken out being in there and he, he inevitably left it in there because there's been tons of screenshots of him altering the posts each time with timestamps and you see the word minor no minor minor it's like oh, okay hold on so he's kind of like when i was reading it and seeing it the first time I was like wait because i saw it with they did not say the word minor and then somebody posted I was like, what the fuck's going on here this looks fake so i had to go in and find it and for my sense of it almost was like he had turmoil with inside himself going let me just be up front and somebody going no don't put the word minor in there. oh shit yeah yeah look at it. but no i already put i had to leave it in there now so it's what he did is despicable and it's disgusting again whether it's a witch hunt or not it does not matter the intent was there and that's bottom line and the fact that he is married and he does have kids my understanding so it's like it's just it's it's disgusting and it creeps me out it's not something i care for in any degree um but then we have you know uh and we're not going to touch this one <laughs> Because it's not a subject of which I want to bring into this environment <laughs> that we're trying to create. Nick Mark's beef with uh, Mr. Beef. Beast. Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> with his with Beast and his crew, a specific member of his crew. Uh, that is a whole issue of in itself. It's very dividing. Uh, I claimed my flag years ago. Uh, I don't care. I've, of all the siblings in my family, I'm the only one that doesn't care how my brother aligns, who he marries. It's not affecting my life. You do you. Be happy. Don't care. Uh, then the most recent one I saw other than a sketch was today. I was telling you this before we went live. Uh, was Sniper Wolf is being a bitch about this whole thing. And that's putting it subtly too, because there's so many worse words I've seen people call her right now. Uh, somebody on YouTube, I believe his name is Just Onion. It's something Onion. If it's not Just Onion, it's something. There's something else before the word Onion. But anyways, Sniper Wolf's claim to fame inside the streaming world and the content creator community is she is a live reaction slash review of other content. So she could be watching anybody's stream, and she bashes them she hates on them she harasses them she makes fun of them she's not often nice or pleasant about it she's quite rude and quite bitchy about it somebody but I, again think it's just onion's name on youtube did the same thing to her and pulled her recent grab her stream and basically just shit on her in a very professional way of like oh well look this doesn't make sense you're backtracking it why would you say these hateful things and they called her out, gave her a taste of her own medicine. And she didn't like it. And she copyright claimed his ass. So now he has a copyright strike against him. Uh, which if you're a streamer, you own your content. And if somebody else uses it, you can definitely go and copyright claim it. Um, no matter how small or big you are. But I know this because I may have done this to somebody who I thought was close with and decided to be a backstabbing asshole to me. Um, neither, neither, neither. No, no, not him. <laughs> um, but, so anyways, she put a copyright claim and you get three strikes on YouTube for a copyright violation, at which point YouTube says, fuck you, no more. No count, no channel, no stream, no post, no comments, nothing. They ban you. Um, I'm not sure if it's an IP ban, but my understanding from everything I can read is it's just like one step below. So you have to complete a whole... New email if you want to get set up. Uh, but they can also strike you down again if you come back. But she's going after him hard. And people are rallying behind the Onion guy. Because why would you rally behind Sniper Wolf who's being a twat about all this. When she's doing the same thing to other people. And she's so much more worse about it. 
Uh, I've seen her, and she's one of them, that she dresses a certain way to get the attention. And then she's not really good at gaming. And she's just very, she brings nothing to the table other than the, her looks. And we, being a we bitch. Have, we did an episode about rating people's content. If it's, if it's a legit way to become something or if it's fair. Yeah. We did that. And I'm not sure if she was one that we had talked about. Kind of, yeah. Within that episode, she very well could have been. Um, but yeah, the fact that you're, you're getting pissed off because somebody's doing to you what you're doing to everybody else and you think you're the first one to do it or you're mad because they're doing it, newsflash, you're not original. No. I mean, the internet's been around way too long. You're not original. Anything and everything anymore is stolen, rebranded, repackaged, something. It's very, very hard nowadays to find something new, authentic, and, and genuine that's not been done. Now, does it happen? Yes. But if you're going to get pissed off because somebody comes in and does to you what you're doing to everybody else. Well, this is a whole new level of, or not new, but this is a whole different level of pissed off. Like, you can be pissed. Cool. But you being a petty bitch about it and be like, I'm going to attack your channel and get you taken down because I don't like the taste of this pie or I don't like this taste of my own medicine. Mm -hmm. Like, you are being a bitch. That's the nicest way to put it because... You were being so ridiculous over top on this. Mm-hmm. Like, and it, there was somebody I was because this bounces back between like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, it's all over. Uh, but I saw somebody's thread on Twitter where they they mentioned this and they had all the, the videos and everything. And they're like, I don't understand why she's doing this when she, it's just a taste of her own medicine. And he literally had to repost that again. Because according to him, my tweet got taken down. Somebody reported it for hate speech. I'm pretty sure it was Sniper Wolf. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> so and she, he, I mean, he fucked up. He tagged her on Twitter or X, whatever it's fucking called now. And he did not be shy about it at all. So it's, yeah. he called her out. It's just like, it is what it is. There's nothing original on, on the internet anymore. Or sorry, no. it's very very rare to find something truly original on the internet. I shouldn't say nothing. It is it's there. I do find some original content, and it's a freaking diamond in the rough type thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even like, we're not even gonna say this is something original. What we're doing, two white guys doing podcasts. <laughs> no, I mean not, not at all. No. 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 Do we do it better than some? I like to think not, so. Not getting, not going crazy during the week. Being able to vent, talk, and bullshit. That's yeah. pretty much all we do. This is That's therapy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is hey, Thursday night our therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tuesday Stay Thursday. tuned. Rebranding. Oh, Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Thursday therapies. Tuesday and Thursday, twice a week. And it's all free. No insurance needed. But, like... It, it's so crazy. And there's so much more beef coming around. Like, I saw something... Uh, right before, actually, when we were going, getting ready to go live, I was just researching streamer beef on issues, streamers having issues with other streamers. And there's just a ton of it from like Pokimane to uh, Sniper Wolf to Disrespect to Ludwig, which I didn't understand because like, he's the most neutral guy, uh, to Loki, he went with Dr. Chubbs, like. It's all this minor stuff with some of these bigger names, but at the same time, like these big titles, these big uh, names like Dr. Disrespect and Mr. Beast. And I would say to him, Tapman, even not so much Nick Merckx. I don't know why I don't categorize him up there, but he's just, he's not there in my eyes, unfortunately. But Pokimane, uh, Sweet Tales, I believe is her name. Like they've all had issues and they all have something going on right now. So whatever is happening, within the streaming community this year is just fucking wild. And the fact that it seems to be all sorts of crazy stuff, some very se- severe issues and some minor petty bullshit. So. I think for some, and it's, you know, I'm not going to call them out, but you've already mentioned them. There are some that are, I think are benefiting <laughs> off of making up some of the things that are going on True. and embellishing 
sure. more than what it needs to be because they know their community will follow them or feed into what they have going on. Turmo turmoil causes content. Content creates attraction from viewership. So the turmoil all helps and, and absolutely. And that's what I'm, like my kids right now, my kids are in that age to where they're very influential on everything that they see mm -hmm. and it's everywhere. TikTok, YouTube, yeah. which, you know, kick everything. It's there. They're seeing it. Only fans. It's not going away. It's it's all my kids better not be in. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to get them to understand because they're seeing all this stuff and it's all glamorized. Yeah. Like you have to understand that this is a lot of this stuff. It's all staged. You will find very few that are not fake. Mr. Beast with one two. A lot of his stuff is staged. I mean. Yep. Yes, he is doing stuff, but a lot of it is staged. A lot of the stuff that goes on with these content creators, they're staging it. A lot of them don't even live the lives that they have. I mean, look at MTV Cribs from a long time ago. Fake. All fake. Like, it's kind of would, a I would have gone with that. I would have gone with Pimp My Ride because that has just blown and up in those last couple of years. Well. Yes, that one's coming out as well. It's how much they fucked those cars up. Some of them weren't even drivable. Yeah. And some of them didn't even run. But I mean, that's the thing is that everything is so glamorized to make it look so shiny and ready to go that they fall into it. And I'm trying to get my kids to understand that, that you have to read into what it is to try and see behind what they're doing. Like you can catch it. Not everything is cut and edited. Perfect. Yeah. And that's Just catch it. And that's the thing. I, I will say that is two things. That's one thing. The unscripted, unedited, un highly produced is one thing like I do for all my live streams and we do here for two guys one game pad, ring rage report, uh, for your horror podcast that's maybe somewhat kind of gonna come out, who knows when. It's all unscripted, it's unrehearsed, simply for the sheer fact of not because we're lazy, because it's not reality. Mm -hmm. And I had the same conversation with my kids all the time because like right now, my daughter is in that sweet spot, same age as yours. Uh, like everything you see on TV or the iPad or the tablets, whatever. It's like, oh, well, they said this, they did that. No, it's not real. It's not. It's it's all fake. It needs to be. I I found this in other episodes around streaming community and streaming um, journey, all that stuff. Streaming and content creation is treat needs to be looked at and treated like Hollywood production shows, whether it's a TV or a movie. It's treated as that. It's not real. It's heavily uh, rose-colored glass type thing. Very seldomly are you going to see legit how everything goes. Mr. Beast, it does a lot of heavily produced content. It looks amazing. It's damn near movie slash TV show worthy. Like, it looks great. Does he do a lot of good? Yeah, he does a lot of good, too. But the thing is, people see what he does with like the Squid Game knockoff. And like, oh my God, look at this. Nobody was in danger. Everybody's safe. All those people staying in the supermarket for 100 days to win money. They're safe. Like, it's, it's all heavily scripted. And there's already been times like this week. Weirdly enough, my daughter's getting you Shark Week. Just random ass shit. She got into Shark Week. And she's talking about something she's seen on shark week uh, like nat geo or discovery and she's like well did you see this i was like Ugh. okay they're not they're not telling you the whole thing like this you have to watch the whole damn show to understand what the scientists are talking about they're gonna get you with a hook to reel you in not a fish pun i know not a fish pun i promise <laughs> it's, it's how you write you have to have a hook to capture your audience and keep them in, enthralled and that's what they do and the best way to get the hook is to be over the top obnoxious or over the top with uh, jaw dropping information. And you go, oh shit, really? And then when you find out, oh, okay, well, hold on. There's more to this. You have to read between the lines. You have to look behind the curtain, so to speak. And sometimes looking behind the curtain sucks and ruins the product. WWE, for example, we talked about that. Where like, this behind the curtain thing kind of kills kayfabe, behind the curtain kind of ruins some things. Same with streamers. It's just, it's there. It is what it is, but I fully am on board with these. Just like they're creating their own turmoil. Because why not? 
get kicked off for Dr. Disrespect. Let's just add on to the shit pile. Let's get, let's be weird. Let's be the shiniest shit on the shit pile of turmoil. Yeah. And it's like, I couldn't do that. And I would, I would never do that. But like, let me cause some turmoil. Let me cause some chaos. Yeah. Because the internet, <laughs> it's forever. Yeah. And that's what people like on the internet. That's what, that's what works. Yeah. Sadly, hate, that's what works. Hate, sex, and violence. All of which you can get on OnlyFans. And it Ask his oldest son. No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> you just gotta get your phone bill one day and be like, "Wait a second. That better not be what I think it is. <laughs> it's a mess. Called only friends, not only fans. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I thought it was a video game. <laughs> <laughs> but the yeah. people gonna continue. There's gonna be more to come out. Who knows what's going to happen next? But again, the sketch thing was absolutely stupid and blown out of proportion, and didn't even need to be, might be needed to be brought up at all. Who cares? Like I get, go on making your money back in the day. Like I get, yeah. I get people wanting to do documentaries like that or faux documentaries. Uh, but again, like it's, it's nothing. It's nothing jaw dropping. Who cares? How many people have OnlyFans? It's ridiculous. It'll be, it, it blows my mind that that was a controversial thing. Yeah. And it took me a long, I don't want to say a long time, because it's it, like this just happened in the last 48 hours, 24, 40 hours. But it took me a bit to fully commit and be like, let me go see what this is about. Because it's like, I don't give a fuck about Sketch. I hate, I, I, don't, I, I don't like his content. I don't like his streams. I don't like his... I don't like his whole thing. It annoys the ever-loving shit out of me. And I can't watch it. I can't get behind it. Same with Jinx. Both of them are stupid. I don't like I don't like their content. Are they good guys in real life? I don't know. But the fact that somebody's like, I'm going to make a documentary, and from my understanding, is he did it to get a sketch in trouble. Like, you're already a piece of shit, a human, if that's, if that's your whole point. Of making this video is I'm going to go after kind of like Sniper Wolf. If you're going out to cause chaos and you're going out to ruin other people, touch grass. Like, fuck off. This is ridiculous. Yeah. And this, I maybe I'm just getting up there in age. You let me know. I don't fucking know. You're older than me by 10 years. It's fine, but it's just, it's, <laughs> there's a bird in your office. Hey, motherfucker. <laughs> But, like, it's just, I, I, I can't wrap my hand around it. Like, sure, if this was somebody did a, a documentary about Dr. Disrespect, cool. You want to talk about the beef that's going on between Nick and Mr. Beast's uh, buddy? Sure. You want to talk about some controversial stuff that Ninja may have done or said? Fine. I can't think of anything negative on Tim Tatman. Like, I, I can't think of anything he's done that's questionable. Like, Ninja, I can think about a ton. Nick a ton. Dr. Disrespect. Hmm. Like, Tim's just kind of there. <laughs> no, I hey, know, I mean, if you want to be on Tim, let us know. Rock with shit's pants. He came, he came up, you know, he worked with kids and all like that, doing uh, social work pretty much is what he started yeah. off doing and started streaming everything else. And, I mean, he came up from pretty much having nothing, he said, from what he had. I mean, his, his cameras were duct taped to his wall, and he did it from a laptop. So, you know, it's he built up a setup and had it to where he's at now, collaboration with Cowboys and everything else that he's doing with it. So good on him. It, you know, everybody has a backstory, good or not. If they want to find, if, if somebody wants to dig long enough, I'm sure they can find something on oh, everybody, yeah. regardless of what good or bad, and they can, they can always embellish it to make it seem believable. They could turn the same thing to, to Tim, to Nick, to Clopsy, you know, to any of these guys to make them look like fools or something that they've done, said anymore, because that's how ridiculous the internet is getting. AI is oh, yeah. becoming extremely scary because 
of how legit it's starting to look, stuff that they can come up with. And it's it's scary because that's what that's the way things are going. If if the wrong person gets the right stuff, it's gonna look bad for a lot of people. Yeah. And and we were talking about this when again the Doctor Disrespect with thing of that's hype. Uh, I said Nick, Tim, Ninja, they're all gonna distance themselves from Doctor Disrespect. Yeah. And there's, it's it's for this reason though, is because had they even stayed friends like in their contact list, or they just like gamed privately, it wouldn't take much for somebody to be live streaming randomly hop in their lobby, or somebody not even live stream just randomly hop in their lobby and was like, oh, wait, is that Doctor? J- that's that's yeah, that's not to disrespect Nick Mertz. What the fuck are they doing together? Let Nick say he's never gonna play. Like, there is no benefit for them to stay near this guy no matter how good of a friend how close their families were together because inevitably the only thing they can do now is protect themselves from here on out knowing that there's a solid chance if somebody wanted to dig deep enough they can twist and turn material which was created to make it look like maybe nick knew maybe tim knew maybe ninja knew maybe they were kind of like there's so much sick twisted sinister stuff out there and ai like you mentioned is is it's a blessing and it's a curse it can be some of the most sinister shit out there but it can also be some of the coolest stuff like the fact that somebody has uh properly created uh songs with tupac in it somebody has created new songs with elvis presley with michael jackson with freddie mercury people who have been long gone for a and they're making it work wonderfully. Now, still not completely legal. I don't care. That's not a subject matter. But then you have people like Morgan Freeman who are excited that his voice will live on past his years. Yeah. But at the same time, right material is AI. What's going to stop somebody from voice grabbing, do audio meshing, and then be like, oh, hey, look, look what this is really said. And without getting political, that's also why there's a bunch of laws trying to be passed to prevent or stop or hinder AI uh, involvement like that. So um, yeah, it's it's weird. And the more I keep thinking about the sketching, the more I I I think maybe it's just kind of a causing chaos to be within the mix. Yeah. That's, the, that's the only logistical thing I could think about, unless he is just downright stupid. Just, that's also like a high problem. Yeah. A lot of people are stupid. And things don't age well, like you said. I know this because, hell, I had a Facebook post randomly pop up from, we'll say high school years, let's not date myself, high school years, where I looked at it, I read it, went, oh, that's not appropriate to say anymore. That would give me some trouble. Out of context, it would. In context, knowing my age, you're like, oh, okay, that's just what it was said. Yeah. So, but it's it's so weird. All the stupid drama, petty drama, serious drama. I like. I don't know what's going on in the streamer world, but regardless, the only thing I I would endorse would be fucking do your research. Yeah. Because there are streamers out there who are glorifying and twisting information or material that is kind of given and they're twisting out of context. It's not great. And there's too many people who follow for, well, I read on Facebook. Listen, okay. That doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, Take you with a grain of salt. Again, all, it's all in context and trying to understand and looking behind or through everything that's there. Everything's bright and shiny up front, but you look in the back, you know, that's, that's where that's where they stand. Somebody's up, so. brown bowl. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just, you know, like I said, there's there's plenty of beef going on within the streamers world and everything else. And it's it's not gonna stop at all you'll have another big name more than likely pop up and you know could be by the end of the year could be the next few months could be you know soon who knows but this one with sketch 
completely blown out of proportion and not made it. I don't know. Tell, in my opinion, just didn't even need to be brought up or said. So it's ridiculous. Um, the other idiot, yes, hands down. So you know, just stick to it. Don't be an asshole. But if you <laughs> if you want to see a uh, two figurative. Figurative, two figurative assholes. Rage. Okay, well, one's gonna rage. The other one's just gonna laugh hysterically behind a muted mic. Come watch us on Thursday nights. Everywhere possible. Uh, he's on Twitch. Ruggles on Twitch. I'm everywhere. Or <laughs> that's not true. I'm not everywhere anymore. Uh, I, I am everywhere, but I'm not at the same time. Uh, TikTok, uh, TikTok, YouTube, Kick, and Twitch. No Facebook. Facebook's dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't see so much on there anymore. I've noticed that. There's no, not very I'm much. Not, of... I'm not even just talking about like streaming and just as a whole. Like quick rabbit detour. I saw something. No. I know. I saw something on Sunday that I saw. It. I was like, oh, that's bullshit. That can't be true. And basically what it was was Facebook. They're calling Facebook dead. They're saying metaverse or meta is dead. Because if you go on your Facebook feed right now, you're going to have a posting of a friend, um, a page you follow, ad, ad, posting of a friend, ad, page you follow, ad. Like, it's, it's very just, it's, let me shove these fucking ads down your goddamn throat. And I was like, that, what? Yeah, nobody's even using it to even, like, talk to people. It's like, DM. Well, that's not true. That's how I talk to my mother-in-law. She doesn't realize I still have her phone number and Discord or Facebook Messenger just works better. But I was like, okay, I don't feel like that's true. I don't have a lot of friends on Facebook. I keep my friends list very small. And I went through, I was like, oh my God. It's not that specific, but it definitely was like friend posting, buy, sell, trade page, buy, sell, trade page, buy, sell, tra trade page, and then add, add, add reels. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. Hopped over to my dim my insights for the streaming page. I checked out this entire year. All in all, January first to July seventh, July eighth, I have garnered four hundred views, four hundred ish views, thirty two impressions, two click throughs, just on Facebook. I checked a year ago, it was about triple those numbers. Two years ago, it was quadruple that number. And even like during COVID peak 2020, I was clearing, you know, 10,000 plus. So Facebook literally just goes yeah. on everything. Uh, so it's, it's dead. Uh, literally it's today. Trying to do things. That's the problem though. It's like they bought Mixer. They had all the opportunity and the advantage in the world to do something. True. And the milk dud looking fuck did nothing. And he just ruined it. He, he, he destroyed his own company. And it's funny. Pretty much. It's funny. Instagram's dead, too, for the most part. Threads, I still don't think ever took off. I haven't even looked at that. I keep seeing threads all through Instagram. I'm like, I don't even know what you are. I didn't want to see you. That's Twitter. I'm waste my time. Oh, but yeah, meta. Not, not waste my time. So, oh, and worse because you can only do one hashtag. It's not a hashtag. It's a topic. Got you can it. only do one of those. Does that make sense? Okay. So but yeah, and then, yeah, it's interesting. I, I will say, TikTok. I see a lot, of, a lot of attraction. Played with someone. Yeah, until the ban happens. Huh? Yeah, until the ban happens, happens. September. Uh, but then, like, I, I think you were, it said you were watching live on Sunday when I was playing with the viewer. And we just got fucking obliterated. <laughs> I might have, yeah. I, were you on TikTok, I was watching. Yeah, it said you were. I, yeah. I, I kept calling your ass I'm out. You weren't responding. I was talking mad trash and I wasn't backing it up. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I did have you pulled up because I was, yeah. I was doing something else. So I wasn't listening. Yeah, that's probably. 
fucked up. So I, I played with a viewer. I, I kept telling him I have I have a new buddy. We're gonna play. You're gone. He's my new William. <laughs> but like play we played uh, six resurgent duos and died within 30 seconds of like landing because every time I every time we would drop I'm not blaming him at all it's, it's definitely a both of us my ass was when it's not you and I I play very aggressive and very stupidly where I'm like I'm gonna go test out this weapon but oh I died okay well, that was good that's that's good shit uh, but that was the same thing and then I told him on the last round I was like look I'm gonna play like Rog when I play okay so please Stay one building away from me. So in case you die, I can run away. Or if I die, you can bring me back. And we got sixth place at the end. But it was so... Solos is very ratty. Duos was very ratty. Mutations was very ratty. It's just full of rats right now. So That's why 10,000 rats and five gorillas would beat the shit out of everybody else. <laughs> no, I've just been on quads. Quads is where, I, is where I stay, and I tried to jump to trios, but trios isn't there this week, so it's just a lot of quads. I will not do duos unless it's you and I. I did. It's like, I, I don't do it. I can't I did it. quads today, and I got second, and I did not do shit. I mean that. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Like, carry's not even the right word. These people were Superman. Because, like, we all dropped together. And yeah, we're getting this episode on a high note. We dropped together and they, they ch- like they're chatting uh, via headset technically. And my, I have voice description built on. So I'm reading, I was like, okay, okay. And I keep pinging and these fuckers went, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking left me. They brought me back like six or seven times and they would ping somewhere. I'm like, okay, I confirm it. Because I can't hear them confirm it. Run over there. Now these fuckers would ping it. And they would get close. And my ass would run into the building. And I would just spam. The targets. Right here. Right here. Right here. I watch it. I was like you bastards. Fucking just. Ugh. You were just bait. Yep. Sucks for them. Because I was the last man standing at the end. <laughs> and we did not win. Because it was one against three. And I barely do okay with one against one. <laughs> so I was texting chat. I was like, "GG, sorry, <laughs> my bad." And they all just laughed. Yeah, be sure to check us out on our Thursday nights. That's when we play. Eight thirty central. Eight thirty p.m. central. Yes, I was doing play last week because holiday. He did it. Were you playing? Yeah. You playing? No, I was. I was blowing stuff up, so I didn't. I didn't yeah, I was too. But like yeah. eleven o'clock, we came home. And the kids slept on the couch, and I was like, okay, well. Well, I was bored the fuck out. Because when it comes to light off, I, I light off everything. Let me watch it, I was fucking exhausted. So we did, uh, oh. I didn't buy a lot of fireworks. So I bought enough for the kids to do. Mm. So, and we don't have enough clearance in our backyard or front to do anything fun. So, like, whatever. You can get mortar shells to clear that up for you, you've been fine. <laughs> I get some mortar shells and light a fire. <laughs> Positive note, I wouldn't have neighbors anymore. There you go. And they're not home, so I mean, it's fine. Shoot off. It was tempting, too. I mean, light like arsenic across my mind. The joke? So there's a fire that breaks near me. It was not me. This is a joke. <laughs> it's, don't trust it. I'm just stupid. <laughs> I'm just stupid. <laughs> That's it. Let's get off before I get tried for arson. Something I didn't do. So, yeah. Yes, check us out Thursdays. We play Call of Duty. Normally, it's all we ever play. And yeah. Until somebody gets their fucking computer that their wife bought them for their birthday. It's over Up and running. Then maybe we can do like some phasmophobia. Even though by the time you get that done, it's going to be over on PlayStation 5. There'll be something new. See ya. Until next time, everyone. See you then. Do your shake. Yes. Till the next one. Bye, bitch. <laughs>